Hi, it's Casey Allen from the Rich and Casey Show on I-105 WIOV, a proud effort of National Bank Letters to Santa contest supporter. You know, with so many letters coming into the North Pole this time of year, Jingle needed some help delivering those letters to the big man himself. Santa. I'm grateful for that, yes. yes. Shall we get started, Santa? Absolutely, Casey. I'm anxious to see what letters we have received for the Letters to Santa contest. Well, we got a lot of them this year. Fantastic. It's tough to choose, but here's okay. the first one. Santa? Sure. All right, let's see who this is from. Oh, this is Lighthouse Vocational Services. Lighthouse Vocational Services. All right, let's see what they have to say. Dear Santa, Lighthouse Vocational Services in New Holland should definitely be on your nice list this year. <laughs> Over 265 unique and talented individuals with disabilities are served through Lighthouse's diverse programs. Shining as a beacon of hope and opportunity, Lighthouse champions people with disabilities by helping them grow their vocational and life skills and increase their independence and quality of life. Lighthouse participants work in the facility, receive daily life skills training in the facility and online, volunteer in the community, and work in the community through supported and small group employment. The Lancaster County community is better because of the work of Lighthouse Vocational Services and the amazing individuals it serves. Lighthouse values people with disabilities too much to stand by while thousands across the state of Pennsylvania sit at home without access to services. An estimated 16,000 individuals across the state are on endless waiting lists or are currently losing services without hope of regaining them. This is because providers like Lighthouse, many even in Lancaster County, have closed their doors or are no longer taking referrals mainly due to staffing shortages. As of April 2023 in Lancaster County, 459 individuals with disabilities are waiting to receive services. Despite these hardships and obstacles, Lighthouse remains steady in its mission to serve all people with disabilities, regardless of the severity of their disability or their access to government funding, and to help them find purpose and fulfillment in life. To serve more individuals in need, Lighthouse is tirelessly and creatively expanding and enhancing the quality of services, hiring additional staff, and expanding its fleet of vehicles since transportation is a major barrier for people with disabilities. Lighthouse also works with approximately 35 businesses across Lancaster County to provide job and volunteer opportunities to individuals. A gift from Santa would help Lighthouse expand services to more individuals with disabilities to help them get jobs and become more meaningfully integrated into society. Many individuals have grown significantly through Lighthouse's programs. Names have been changed here to preserve confidentiality. For example, Carolyn has grown in the joy of volunteering. When she started volunteering, Carolyn exhibited agitation and stress and would scream, refuse to work and sleep while at a local business. Lighthouse staff and family members worked together and discovered that Carolyn needed a consistent routine and they created a volunteering schedule for her. After 10 months of scheduled volunteering, Carolyn now cleans one day a week delivers hot meals to community members in need, is actively focused on her tasks, has even been more flexible with her schedule, and is effectively communicating with staff and peers. Another participant, Jack, has been working at a local grocery store in the dairy department for the past several months. For 10 years prior to getting this job, Jack sat at home and watched TV and movies and did not participate in the workforce. When Jack started working at the grocery store, he experienced great anxiety. Through coaching support from Lighthouse staff, Jack has learned to manage his anxiety and hone appropriate workplace social skills, including arriving on time for work and staying on task. Jack actively seeks work and helps coworkers and even signs up for extra shifts. Jack self-advocates by introducing himself to employees he doesn't know and asking his manager for additional responsibilities. Santa, please don't forget about people with disabilities that help Lighthouse extend life-changing services to more of these amazing individuals this Christmas. Casey, that's a great letter as well. 
Thank you, Lighthouse Vocational Services, for this letter and for the work you do in our community. Yeah, we appreciate it like very they much. They really help our They community. really do. Absolutely. All right. Don't forget to vote for your favorite nonprofit organization at www.epnb.com slash letters to Santa contest and do it by December 17th. The lucky winners will win up to $15,000. See official rules for details. Happy holidays from all of us at Effort and National Bank and WIOV.